Bueno, mi esker e, gonbida penagatik eta, bueno, gultza plazer bada hemen egotea. Decía en, en euskera, en, en mi lengua e, referencial o la que utilizo normalmente, que gracias por la invitación, eh, bueno, que es un placer estar aquí hoy con diferentes eh, sindicatos y organizaciones eh, en esta jornada contra las políticas. As I say, in, I, I just repeated the thanks in Basque. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. The Basque is a country, is a nation without a state between the Spanish and French states. The trade unions I represent is one of the main trade unions in the Basque country. The only one that that is in both the French and Spanish part of the Basque country. Our objectives are socialism and not social democracy and the independence and sovereignty for our people. In the Basque country, not only the, is the political situation different to that in the rest of the Spanish state, but also the trade union situation. And the trade unions, the 55% of the trade unions are trade unionists are in the pro pro independence, and the UGTT uh, pro Spanish has 35%, which is of course majority, but a majority in the rest of the Spanish state. This is important to, expect, to understand how the crisis is affecting our country. The majority trade unionism in the Spanish state, the UGTT and the CCOO, we don't share the idea of social dialogue with the governments to agree how to cut back on rights, which is what has been going on for the last 30 years in the Spanish state. Our different trade union model, we understand, involves the trade unions should not be dependent on state finance. In, in other parts of Europe, there are many uh, subsidies paid to trade unions. As a third different point is the need of, for a struggle, that the trade union struggle should be carried out in alliance with the social movements and the political parties of the real and transformative left. This is different from the majority. So the, the Spanish state majority trade unionism, which is in a minority in the Basque country, they do not recognize the national rights of our people. Since the current capitalist crisis began in 2008, the Basque trade unions LAB is the main one. We saw the need to respond to this crisis and to respond through mobilizations and big strikes. So I'll explain to you briefly a relatively unknown reality how a nation without a state, like the Basque Country, is trying to respond to this crisis. It's the only case of a nation of a nation without a state that's had a general strike of the economic issues. In 2009, when Zapatero said there would be no kinds of cuts, there already began to be cuts in the social area in terms of social spending, and the Basque trade unions made an alliance between five different trade union centrals, carried out a general strike, which was very successful, although, even though, the UGTT and the, the other trade unions were opposed to it. Our forecasts were confirmed. The Spanish government then approved a labor reform which uh, facilitated layoffs in terms of the indemnization they were entitled to. A month earlier, they'd approved a cut of up to a 5% cut in public sector wages. So we called a second general strike, the 29th of June 2010, against those measures, including which had which which had saw even bigger participation than the, fir than the first one. And the last general strike in, in January 2011 when the Spanish state government of Zapatero wanted to take 
retirement age from 65 up to 67. This has happened in other European countries, but in the Spanish state there was a difference. There's the majority trade unions, the, 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 the workers' commissions and the UGTT, whereas other trade unions responded with struggles in the Spanish state, the tra those trade unions uh, f signed up to that reform. In the Basque country, it was quite different. We called again for this, ge another, this third general strike against the uh, retirement age being raised, and that was successful too. So we've had three general strikes in two years. Along with that, we we agreed 10 measures that we are trying to socialize, make popular through various mobilizations, which we've been pushing over the last two or three years, which has been supported by more than 140,000 workers have signed up to support these, these 10 points. So we take these to the workplaces, and workers have been supporting them. I won't go through all the points, but basically this 10-point platform includes no to mass layoffs in the industrial sector, especially in those companies that, although they have been making profits, have been sacking people using the excuse, using the crisis as a pretext also an increase in spending for education and health to strengthen the public sector, to take measures in health and there's a, there's a high level of uh, industrial accidents and, and occupational health issues. So, we, as, as I explained, the social and, and trade union reality is different in the Basque Country. What, what we are asking for is to have collective negotiations within the Basque framework. So, as I'm getting to the end of my time, so after this brief sketch, I just want to put forward a few thoughts. The measures which were put forward in the various workshops and here in the plenary, we see are the same all over Europe. And we think from the left, from the transformative left and the trade union left, it's necessary. We need two measures. One, a political trade union alternative. We think that the class struggle trade unionism in all European countries should try, in spite of the different situations, needs to have a political point of reference. We think it's necessary try to occupy spaces of power at municipal or other levels to implement social measures. This united to social mobilization and struggles. We have to have strikes, as I mentioned, other kinds of mobilizations, occupying banks, Seven of our comrades are, are being uh, on trial because we occupied a bank in Pamplona last year. The, the case is still in the courts. So from the political and social movements, as these struggles become more radical, the repression will become more severe too. We see this in Greece. There's been repression of trade unions in Greece. In Galicia, there have been cases as well. So from the point of view of LAB, we call on the World Trade Union Federation. Obviously, we don't believe in that, but, but we do need an international or European alliance of trade unions with this kind of perspective. We're not self-satisfied about this at all. The trade unions we have good relationships with, some of them are here today. We have to oppose the current model of European social construction and put forward an alternative alliance. We need to put forward a social Europe, a Europe of the peoples. So next uh, Monday, on the 3rd of October, we will be mobilizing in the workplaces and in, in the streets 
with various activities in the Basque Country. And I'd also like to denounce one fact. The repression against trade unionism happens in Colombia and Latin America and so forth, but it also happen, it's also happening in Europe. And we want to denounce that two weeks ago, our ex-General Secretary, Rafael Diaz Uriaga, uh, was uh, arrested, imprisoned to three years of prison, I think. And this is something we want to denounce. There are political and trade union leaders in the Spanish state who are being locked up. Finally, we want to call on everyone to join in the struggle. I saw I would say goodbye again in Basque, which means we, men, women, and our people. <laughs>